Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about what is Kubernetes network policy. So let's get into the video. Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we would be discussing about the network security aspect. So last video, we saw how we can restrict a user from executing a specific API call or authenticate that user and then authorize that user for specific set of actions. But when we are talking about application talking to each other, all the pods present in the cluster can talk to each other. They are not isolated. They accept traffic from any source within the cluster. But normally how it happens, if I have a front-end application and I have a back-end application, I whitelist the IP address of my front-end in my backend, and I make sure that when the request is coming to my backend database, it is only coming from that particular front-end server. So we will have to implement network policies to restrict the traffic which has been allowed as an incoming traffic to a pod or to restrict a traffic which has to go out from a specific pod. So we can create some set of rules and we can specify what sort of traffic would be allied, allowed to a specific uh, set of pods or a single pod or what sort of traffic can originate from a pod. So there can be two types of traffic, right? Ingress is the incoming traffic and egress is the outgoing traffic. So you can create policies, you can define rules which will restrict the outgoing traffic and which will have conditions and restrict the incoming traffic to a pod. So when you create a policy, you can specify a group of pod or a normal one single pod which can communicate with the other one. And you can specify that or, or else instead of using the pod labels and all, we can even specify a range of IP addresses from which I can expect a packet to come up. In this way, what I'm doing, I'm isolating a pod and I'm saying that when the incoming traffic is coming, it is coming from only from specified IP address or from the specific subnet or from a specific pod itself, right? So you are attaching a policy and restricting the incoming traffic or restricting the outgoing traffic. As soon as you attach a policy to a pod, only whatever is allowed would be allowed, rest everything gets denied. So what am I saying? That by default, all is allowed. If I have pods in my cluster, default policy is to allow all. This is default policy. But as soon as you create a network policy, kind network policy, and attach to a particular pod, you say this policy would be working for this particular pod. So whatever you allow here, that only is allowed. Rest is all denied. So unless and until you have a policy, everything is allowed. As soon as you implement a policy for a pod, then only whatever you specify is allowed. Rest all is denied. So we have to be very sure what we allow and because if we don't allow something it will be falling into the default denied case so let's look how do we define our network policies so this is a kind network policy it has an api version on which the network policy kind was introduced a metadata associated with this network policy that is the name of the policy i am saying i would allow hello allow from foo. So I'll be allowing a traffic from a specific label to a specific label of the pod. And in the specification section, I can specify the policy type. Either a policy can be ingress type or a policy can be egress type. So this is a ingress policy. In the ingress policy, I can specify my condition. In this condition, I'm saying I'm selecting the pod which has label as app hello. So this policy is applicable to the pods which are labeled as app hello. And what is the policy? Ingress policy here specifies that I would allow traffic from 
pots which are labeled as app foo so pots which are labeled as app foo can only send traffic to pots which are labeled as app hello app hello will not accept traffic from any other pod apart from pods which are labeled as app foo so here if you say that this is the type of the policy and this is the rule inside the in grace policy from section denotes that it is coming from and here in the in grace i'm saying uh, this policy type or this in grace policy is applicable to this particular labeled pod so this policy is applied on app hello but it would accept traffic from pods which are labeled as app foo so this is for the incoming traffic if we have a similar way to define the outgoing traffic the packet which is originating then i can say whom i can send packet to so here if you see i for foo to send packet to app hello by default it can send packet to anyone unless and until a network policy is created but if i have created a network policy because hello is expecting packet from foo i should allow the outgoing packet from the foo type of applications right so here it it is again kind network policy you have the api version the metadata has the name of the policy and in the spec section instead of e grace policy in grace policy type this time you have the e grace policy and here the e grace policy which you see it says i'm selecting app foo type of labeled pod an app foo can send packet to here it can send packet to pods which are labeled as app hello so app hello is expecting packet from foo and foo is saying i can send only to hello so both the sides are fixed in grace is also fixed in the hello type of application and e grace type is fixed in the foo type of application so this is how you can specify your conditions in the network policy section either it can be an incoming condition or it can be an outgoing condition depending on that you specify the policy type for incoming traffic it is in grace policy and for e outgoing traffic it is a e grace policy you can also say a section of the entire ip address which you would like to allow or a subnet you want to allow all those things also can be specified but this is very much too much oriented towards developer that's the reason we are just covering a brief um overview of the network security section in the admin uh course that's all about the network security we would see the rest creation of ingress and egress policy in the hands on exercise video thank you so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concepts or if you want to dive deeper then we have something really really special for you we have our free class on docker and kubernetes certification to get you higher paying jobs and in this interactive session we will be learning about why learn containers that is docker and kubernetes we'll be learning about the whole docker container architecture we'll be getting to know about some hands on demo we'll be getting to know the certifications regarding kubernetes cka cks and cked and we do have q and a's along with a limited time gift so if you want to enroll for this free class all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash khs02 and after that you just have to click on book your free seat now and after that you just have to select an event date according to your availability add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of url you can add this url to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then take care and keep learning